सदाशिवस्मारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलें करुणालें नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिनी व्योम व्याप्तिहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहनावत सहन उनक्त सह वीर करवाई तेजस्वीनावजीतमस्तमाशावही ओं शांचाशाति ओं यो ब्रह्मांड विधातिपूर्व येदागुश्चक्रहिणोति तस्म तुम दिवत्मबुद्धि प्रकाश मुक्षुर्वै शरण हम प्रपद्ये ओं शांचाशाति आम्नायांत्रिकसिद्धमाधिमध्यातवर्जित आनंदघनमापूर्णमात्मज्योतिरुपास्मे Okay, uh, the eighth sutra in the Tadabhava Adhikarana, Swapna Abhava Adhikarana, Tadabhava Swapna Abhava. So we are looking at uh, Swapna Prapancha being separated from Jeeva who is the Nirmata of the Swapna Prapancha. one can ascertain the nature of jiva as sadrupa chidrupa swayam prakasha basically but sadrupa chidrupa ananda rupa who is brahma abhinna so this possibility was established in the tadabhavo nadishu tachruter atmanicha jiva is absorbed in paramatma entering the nadi and in that also specifically pratitat uh, sorry uh, सुषुप्ति अवस्था तदभाव स्वप्न भाव सुषुप्ति स्थान इन दट सुषुप्ति अवस्था आत्मा जीवात्मा इज वन विथ परमात्मा किंच ऑफ कोर्स अविद्या इज स्टिल देयर किंच मोर ओवर व्हाट इन द सेम अधिकरण अतः प्रबोधस्मात अतः प्रबोधस्मात अनदर हेतु इज गिवन अतः प्रबोधः अस्मात अस्मात परमात्मनः जीवस्य प्रबोधः अस्मात परमात्मनः अतः हियर दिस अतः इज हेतु हेतो पंचमी एंड हियर asmat is from this parmatma and therefore atah eva asmat parmatmanah asya jeevasya prabodah jeeva wakes up from that parmatma and says that i was blissful in my deep sleep i slept happily so that ananda is the nature of parmatma Unto which he has merged in Sushupti Avastha, and therefore he wakes up from that Paramatma. Because he has merged with the Paramatma in Sushupti Avastha, therefore alone he can wake up from the same Paramatma. Otherwise, it is not possible. So that becomes the hetu for the merging ground in Sushupti has to be Paramatma. it cannot be anything else it cannot be a nadi it cannot be puritat it cannot be anything else therefore all three shrutis have ekavakyata jiva enters the nadis puritat also and then finally the resolution ground is ishwara in sushupti avastha yataha parmatma eva sushupti sthanam ataha eva hetu ho सिंस परमात्मा इज दि सुषुप्ति स्थान अधिकरण वेर जीवा हेज मर्ज देर फोर अलोन अतः हेतु ड्यू टू दैट रीजन अलोन अस्मा परमात्म जीव से प्रबोध उपदिश्य श्रुति टीचेस दैट जीवा वेक्स फ्रॉम दिस परमात्मा अदरवाइज दिस आनंद इज नॉट पॉसिबल जीवा हू हेज एसोसिएटेड हिमसेल वि शरीर 
आगंतुक सुख दुखात्मक अंतकरण फाइंड हिमसेल्फ एक्सॉस्टेड बाय दी सेंस ऑर्गन विच हैव बीन इंडलजिंग इन दी विषयाज इन जागृत अवस्था हैविंग विड्रॉन द अंतकरण इज स्टिल एक्सॉस्टेड फर्दर इन स्वप्नावस्था दी सुख दुखा कम्स एंड गोज इन बोध दी अवस्थाज बट देर इज नो लॉन्ग लास्टिंग आनंद विच इज बींग सॉट बाय ईच एंड एवरी जीवा इन ऑल स्टेट्स knowingly or unknowingly in all kriyas in all uh, interactions in all aswartha also interactions non selfish actions also one is looking for ananda in the jagrat avastha whichever vishayas he could not indulge in for sukha this jeeva tries to indulge that in swapna avastha due to whichever samskara is retained across janmas it becomes manifest whatever he could not fulfill of course not only sukha but trying to search for sukha nobody wants dukha but trying to search for sukha one ends up getting dukha because prarabdha does not permit more sukha than what is due therefore even if one tries to pursue that sukha from vishayas it ends up in dukha same thing is known in swapna avastha also and this swapna avastha when it ends and jagrat is not the resultant then one is merged into ishwara and there there is recharge of this antakarana with whom with which the jiva is associated atma is associated and thereby as the atma is worn out by wear and tear in jagrat and swapna avastha to recharge this atma merges back into paramatma the individualized atma who was never separate is as though merged back into paramatma meaning the jiva who is focused outward is now no longer focused outward thereby there is no vikshepa there is no external world but there is avarna and that avarna does not let the jiva know that the ananda which is being sought in both avasthas is the very nature of jiva therefore he wakes up and continues to do the same thing again and again across janmas so yatah eva parmatma yatah parmatma eva susupti sthanam ata eva hetu ho asmat parmatmanah jivasya pravodha upadishyate it is not possible that one sleeps in one room and wakes up in another bearing uh, sleep walking we are not considering that case but a general case utsarga is what wherever a person has slept in the same desha one wakes up so we can say that one has woken up in rishikesh that means that he has slept in rishikesh not in mumbai not on a train of course not on a uh, not on a moving uh, vehicle we are talking about a stationary place if a person has slept in that place not moving the person not moving he will wake up in the same desha it cannot be anything else therefore whatever is the adhikarana whatever is the adhisthana wherever one has merged from that alone one can wake up and shruti teaches that one wakes up from parmatma therefore in sushupti avastha one has merged in parmatma this is another hetu given in the 8th sutra by bhagavan sutrakara sata agamya na vidu sata agachhamhe iti sadrupat parmatmana sakasha jeevah agachanti iti shravanat where is shruti chandogya shruti says in 6th chapter sata agamya sat is sad brahma sad brahmana parmatmana agamya having returned from that sad brahma sad brahma parmatma when one wakes up na viduhu people do not know what do they not know sata agachhamhe 
आई एम रिटर्निंग फ्रॉम दिस सदब्रह्म परमात्मा If one knows that I am returning from Paramatma, meaning I am waking up from Paramatma by in Swarupa, I was Paramatma in Shushupti. My Swarupa cannot change. Therefore, in waking also I am Paramatma. That would be the resultant, resultant understanding. But that understanding is not there because avidya, our own shakti is still there. It veils that I did not know anything. Is the result of this. अविद्या आवरण देर फोर न विदु सत आगम्य दो डज नॉट मीन दैट जस्ट बिकॉज आई डू नॉट नो दैट आई वोकन अप फ्रॉम परमात्मा हैविंग बीन इन दी परमात्मा अवस्था हैविंग मर्ज इन टू परमात्मा आई वोकन अप जस्ट बिकॉज आई डू नॉट नो डज नॉट मीन दैट इज नॉट ट्रू दिस वो देर फोर सत आगम्य इज अ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ फैक्ट श्रुति मेक्स अ स्टेटमेंट सता आगम्य हैविंग रिटर्न फ्रॉम सदब्रह्म न विदु सता आगम आगछा न विदु दे डू नॉट नो दैट आई हैव वोकन अप फ्रॉम परमात्मा इति सदूपा परमात्म सकाशा जीवा आगछती श्रवणा सिंस दि चांदुग्य श्रुति से सो दैट जीवा जीवाज रिटर्न फ्रॉम सदूप परमात्मा सदूपा परमात्म सकाशा दे आर मर्ज इन परमात्मा देर फोर दे वेक अप फ्रॉम दैट परमात्मा अलोन इति श्रवणात अन्यस्य शुशुप्ति स्थान इदम श्रवण बाध्येत दिस श्रुति वुड बी काउंटर्ड इफ वन सेज दैट शुशुप्ति स्थान इज एलवेर बट वेकिंग स्थान इज From the waking source is Paramatma, but the Shushupti sthana, Adisthana is something else. If one argues like that, the Puro Pakshi argues, then he has to explain the Shruti because Shruti will stand countered, will stand opposed, not countered really. Will be stand opposed by this statement. And Shruti is the only pramana here, therefore he has to correct himself. He cannot explain otherwise. Anyatra suktasya anyasmat samuthana ayogat iti bhavaha. This is very clear as to having slept somewhere else, one cannot wake up from another place. That is an example of this Mumbai Rishi case that we looked at. Tasmat sushupto mithya jnana abhav matre naiva brahma sampatte he satvat mula jnana nivrutto sakalye na brahma sampatte aviruddha iti. So tasma. Therefore, what is the conclusion? Sushupto in the sushupti avastha, what has happened? Mithya jnana abhava matre nayiv brahma sampatte. Brahma sampatti prapti in sushupti avastha is due to what reason? Mithya jnana abhava matre nayiv. Mithya jnana here is the sense of vikshepa. Mithya jnana. This split can be in both ways. Mithya ajnana and mithya jnana. In fact, this is a word which is very much contested uh, by some new schools of thoughts in Vedanta. So the Holy Narsipura school of thought, Sri Satchidananda Saraswati Swami Ji, he says that mithya jnana split is not mithya ajnana; it is mithya and jnana. Thereby, they do not consider avidya as karana. They consider avidya as mere absence of jnana, which is what is translated uh, for a lack of better word in all English books as ignorance. Avidya jnana is not ignorance really. We have seen earlier multiple times that out of the six meanings of nanj, virodartha. विरोधार्थे नंज इज यूज फॉर अज्ञान और अविद्या मीनिंग ज्ञान विरोधी अज्ञान विद्या विरोधिनी अविद्या दैट इज द मीनिंग सो इट इज नॉट इग्नोरेंस इट इज समथिंग यत्किंचित भाव रूप पदार्थ अज्ञान और अविद्या विच इज अपोजिंग ज्ञान और विद्या हाउ एवर इफ यू स्प्लिट दी मिथ्या अज्ञान एज मिथ्या एंड ज्ञान बिकॉज Samasa allows that. Mithya plus jnana is also mithya jnana, karma dharya, and mithya plus ajnana is also in karma dharya mithya jnana alone. 
so if you take mithya jnana here it can be taken it will mean vikshepa it will mean ajnana karya adhyasa adhyasa is avidya or ajnana karya whereas if you take mithya and jnana itself has a meaning elsewhere not here in uh, adhyasa bhashya where uh, padma padacharya says that it is mithya ajnana mithya ajnanam mithya jnanam that is the real meaning there but whoever splits the mithya and jnana they cannot have a difference between avidya and adhyasa for them avidya and adhyasa are the same things however it is not in line with adhyasa bhashya and both vivarana as well as bhamati vyakhyanas or uh, others who follow vivarana also like uh, bhashya ratna prabha ityadi anyway that's an aside here we can take it as mithya jnana also if you take mithya ajnana also it will be ajnana has two things ajnana need not be only uh, you know avarnatmika it can be vikshepatmika also therefore vikshepa is the meaning here if you take mithya ajnana also you can take mithya ajnana also which is ajnana karya that also can be adhyasa vikshepa so mithya ajnana abhav or adhyasa abhav when it happens when will it happen when there is no jagrata avastha and swapna avastha that will what that will lead to what in susupti tasmat susupta hu in susupti avastha mithya jnana abhav matre neva because of vikshep or adhyasa seizing anyatha grahana the term used by bhagwan gaudapadacharya in mandukya karika is anyatha grahana roopa vikshep vikshep anyatha grahana so that anyatha grahana roopa vikshep abhave abhav matre neva just by anyatha grahana meaning seeing oneself as something else that i am this dreamer i am a waker i am the dreamer does not know oneself, oneself as a dreamer but i am basically a samsari individual jeeva that kind of individuality seizing tanmatrene eva brahma sampatti hai then some brahma sampatti brahma prapti is just by seeing what one was seeing oneself as one stop seeing oneself as that individual just by not seeing oneself as an individual in waking or dream states in susupti both the states seizing anyata grahana this jeeva bhava individual bhava itself is going to seize and when that happens then that itself will lead to brahma sampatti prapti of brahma आवरण स्टील देर दो तस्भावे सुषुप्त अग्रहण रूप आवरण तो बवती सो अग्रहण रूप अन्यथा ग्रहण रूप विक्षेप एज गॉन बट अग्रहण रूप आवरण तत्व अग्रहण स्वरूप अग्रहण रूप आवरण स्टील देर सो मिथ्या ज्ञान अभाव हेज टेकन प्लेस मीनिंग कार्य रूप हेज गॉन बट कारण रूप मूल कारण रूप स्टील देर सत्वात ब्रह्म संपत्ति सत्वा बिकॉज ब्रह्म संपत्ति अटेनमेंट ब्रह्म संपत्ति इज देर ओनली बाय टेकिंग अवे विक्षेप सी विक्षेप इज नॉट देर विक्षेप आर दी वन विच मेक दिस इंडिविजुअल सीक समथिंग आउट समथिंग इज सेपरेट फ्रॉम वन सेल्फ देन अलोन वन कैन हैव राग द्वेशा one can say i want this raga i do not want this dvesha that is possible only if vikshepa duality is there that duality is definitely karya of avarna roopa avidya but that avarna roopa avidya which is not causing vikshepa in susupti because vikshipta manah is also not there the mind also is resolved in bija avastha it rests so it unfolds into vikshepa all right but until it does not unfold into karya avastha it is only in the mula karana avastha avarana avastha just veiling the swarupa 
just because your swarupa is veiled does not mean that you cannot experience sukha sukha will be experienced in the bija avastha because there is nothing else only if there is vikshepa ragadvesha being possible one is drawn away from swarupa and there is no ananda because this uh, vastu towards which one has raga that is not mine therefore i'll be hunting it and therefore withdrawn from my swarupa and will have dukkha just by that pursuit and if there is dvesha again i'll be taking efforts to do away with that vastu in some manner or the other therefore there will be dukkha so in both cases there will be dukkha having attained the uh, vastu where i have raga that will give me su- some sukha because i do not have raga towards that vastu any more at that moment because it is already prapta it is not separate from me so priya moda pramoda rupa sukha will be there at that moment again some other pursuit will start towards a vastu of raga and in dvesha also if i have done away with the vastu where i have desha towards then that vastu being away from me i do not feel that dukkha anymore i am not separated out from myself therefore also there is this manifestation of the swarupa bhuta atma sukha however they will all keep on returning because raga dvesha will not go in manifest state but in sushupti avastha this vikshepa not being there raga dvesha being in the samskara vasana rupa in bija avastha antakarana is not there to pursue anything else to manifest this uh, raga dvesha so what happens is that this veiled ananda is anubhuta anubhava is continues to be there because it's your own swarupa whatever was taking away oneself from the swarupa ananda it is no longer there therefore what will happen is that although veiled experiential sukha is there although veiled as one's own swarupa so ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಜ್ಞಾನಭಾವಮಾತ್ರೇಣವೇಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸಂಪತ್ತೆಹೆಸತ್ವಾತ್ಮೂಲಾಜ್
of course whichever is stronger that will win so effort will still be needed but having understood this it can be dealt with as a fact if you know then all that is badha towards all that is coming up as badha towards this can be countered with this understanding ataha jeevasya brahma ikyam iti siddham therefore jeeva is definitely one with brahma there is absolutely no reason for you to doubt we have established through swapna swapna as an example as jeeva is swayam jyoti swarupa and this swayam jyoti stva is basically brahma jyoti itself which can be seen in sushupti avastha so, so through swapna we have shown that this prapancha is lit up by jeeva alone who is non different from brahma para brahma which is clearly seen in sushupti avastha thereby in jagrat avastha also this jeeva's nature is not going to change he is one with brahma and it can be known when this avarna which was there in sushupti avastha then vikshepa which is going to come up in addition to this avarna in swapna and jagrat avastha when that goes then this jeeva being brahma is clearly known and the journey is complete the adikarana tadabhava adikarana is over the next adikarana is karma anusmriti shabda vidya adikaranam purvam susuptyante paramatmana sakasha jeevotthana shrutehe paramatma eva susupti sthanam iti uktam ayuktam purva pakshi says your analysis is not agreeable why what is the analysis first susupti uh, susuptyante पूर्व सुषुप्त्यंते परमात्मन सकाशा जीवोत्थान श्रुते दि श्रुति दैट यू पॉइंटेड आउट दैट श्रुति सेज दैट जीवाज जीवा आगछति कस्मा आगछति परमात्म सत सत ब्रह्मण परमात्म आगछति सुषुप्त्यंते एट दि एंड ऑफ सुषुप्ति अवस्था वेन वन इज वेकिंग अप so when the jeevas are waking up that time they come up from parmatma parmatmana sakasha jeev utthana so jeevas waking up shruti jeev utthana shruti due to that what have you established parmatma eva susupti sthanam let the shruti interpretation be right shruti says that jeevas wake up from parmatma but that cannot be the hetu says the purva pakshi to prove that jeeva has merged into parmatma in susupti avastha waking can be from parmatma why should the merging be into parmatma in susupti avastha meaning at the beginning of the susupti there is no necessity of jeevas to become one with parmatma for jeevas to wake up from parmatma at the end of susupti very strange argument but what is the argument susupti sthanam what has been said as parmatma is susupti sthana meaning the jeevas merge into susup in, into parmatma at the beginning of susupti is not agreeable because even without that jeevas can wake up from parmatma how is this possible see this what what pramana siddhanti is using shabda pramana definitely but this shabda pramana leading to the conclusion shabda pramana is all right shabda pramana just says that jeevas wake up from parmatma where does it say that jeevas merge into parmatma puro pakshi can still question so this shabda shabda pramana which is there as to what sata agamya navidu sata agachhame that just says that jeevas do not know that they have woken up from parmatma but they do come from parmatma this is all that shruti is saying how do you relate that to jeevas merging into parmatma at the beginning of the sushupti for that you need some other pramana so the pramana there siddhanti what what pramana siddhanti is using is can be seen as what anyatha anupapatti arthapatti pramana otherwise not possible unless jeevas go and merge into parmatma at the beginning of susupti they cannot wake up from parmatma this is the pramana that the siddhanti is using anyatha anubhapatti if the purva pakshi can show 
अन्यथा उपपत्ति मीनिंग अदरवाइज ऑल्सो इट इज पॉसिबल देन दिस प्रमाणा विल फॉल अपार्ट सो दैट इज वॉट पूर्व पक्षी इज ट्राइंग टू डू सो वॉट पूर्व पक्षी से इज दैट आई हैव अन्यथा उपपत्ति आई कैन शो यू अन्यथा उपपत्ति अदरवाइज ऑल्सो इट इज पॉसिबल मीनिंग इवन इफ दी जीवा जीवास डू नॉट मर्ज इन टू परमात्मा एंड दे मर्ज इन टू और दे गेट इन टू दी नाडीज सो ई सींग दैट दिस नाडी इशू वॉट हेज बीन सेट नाडी इशू आसु तदा नाडी इशू सुप्त होती ही सींग विद दैट प्रमाण आई कैन से दैट जीवा इज एंटरिंग दि नाडी देर इज नो टॉक ऑफ जीवा मर्जिंग इन टू परमात्मा This Esha Antar Hrudaya, he'll say Esha Antar Hrudaya means he is in the Hrudaya Akasha. Then uh, uh, Puri Tat, there is the uh, Tabhi Pratyav uh, Tabhi Pratyavasrupya Puri Tati Shete. So all these are pramana. He is already saying that Jiva enters Nadi, Jiva enters Puri Tat, Jiva enters Hrudaya Akasha. He has no issue with those at all. He says all those shrutis can be taken literal. Uh, in a literal sense in a mukhya artha and jiva can be entering nadis jiva can be entering puri tat and hridaya akasha and in any of these cases jiva will enter shushupti avastha but still jiva can wake up from paramatma how so he says that the jivas who go to sleep in nadi or puri tat or hridaya akasha they are not the same ones who are waking up so that's why this argument is uh, strange because to prove that anyatha upapatti if someone is sleeping in mumbai that person cannot wake up in rishikesh is agreed by puro pakshi he says that just because you say that what jiva is sleeping in mumbai but waking up in rishikesh does not mean uh that the jivas are saying that may be the case so one who sleeps in mumbai is not waking up in rishikesh but still jiva can wake up in rishikesh this jiva who sleeps in mumbai is different from the jiva who wakes up in rishikesh thereby anyatha upapatti he he is saying that meaning he is countering a big uh, uh, he is actually compromising a big deal just to Establish that anyatha upapatti is there. Meaning, otherwise also it is possible. Jivas can sleep in some jivas are sleeping here, but other jivas are waking up. Meaning, all jivas go to sleep in nadis, puri tat, or hrudaya akasha, and all jivas wake up from paramatma. These are not the same jivas. Some ridiculous argument if you look at it. If you analyze it, it is ridiculous. So what he is saying, if you look at it. पूर्व सुषुप्त परमात्म सकाशा जीवोत्थान श्रुते परमात्मा सुषुप्ति इति उक्तम अयुक्त हाउ इज इट इनवैलिड बिकॉज सृप्तादन्य प्रबोध संभव सृप्त सॉरी सुप्तादन्य प्रबोध संभव सुप्त से नाड्यादिस्थान संभवाक्षेप संगत ही से दैट दिस्तादन्य वन हू हेज स्लेप्ट दैट जीव हेज स्लेप्ट इन वॉट Nadi ityadi. One who is waking up at the time of waking up, some other jiva wakes up. Supta dhanya se prabhu the sambhavi na. One who is waking up is different from one who has slept. Thereby supta se nadi adi sthanatva sambhava. Therefore, one who has slept has slept where? He has slept in nadi puri tat pradeya kasha. He has not slept and merged into paramatma at all. Therefore, your interpretation is not right. Says the पूर्व पक्षी ऑफ कोर्स इट इज पॉसिबल वी आर नॉट सेइंग दैट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू एनालाइज इन दैट मैनर बट इट इज रिडिक्यूलस कंक्लूजन इज इज नॉट स्टार्ट टू एनी वन टेक्निकली इट इज पॉसिबल यू कैन आर्ग्यू दैट यस अन्यथा उपपत्ति इज देयर इफ द जीवा हु स्लीप्स इफ द स्टेटमेंट इज जस्ट सेइंग दैट यू नो अ पर्सन वोक अप इन ऋषिकेश देयर इज नो वर्ड ही एटसेट्रा इफ यू से अ पर्सन स्लेप्ट इन मुंबई अ पर्सन वोक अप इन rishikesh or uh, in plural people sleep in mumbai people wake up in rishikesh absolutely no connection with these at all there is no pronoun being used there is no connection of the people who are sleeping in mumbai there is no connection of the people with the connection with, with the people who are waking up in rishikesh they are not connected they are no, not same at all they have no connection at all 
some people are sleeping in mumbai some are waking up in rishikesh it's a ma- matter of fact it's a statement of fact what is the uh, issue there the issue is that the uh, the issue is when you come to the context because the jiva is going through all the three states you cannot have that same jiva going into shushupti and vanishing and waking up as some other jiva the idea is that one who goes to sleep is different from one who wakes up so that is the argument being made and thereby this karma anusmriti shabda vidhyadikarana comes up bhagwan sutrakara se saeva tu karma anusmriti shabda vidibhya saeva tu karma anusmriti shabda vidibhya there are five hetus used here saeva sahajiva eva sahajiva who is that saha suptaha eva saha suptaha eva jivaha tu jagarti or prabudhyate that jiva who has gone to sleep alone wakes up only that jiva not any other jiva meaning that once jiva goes to sleep it is not that another jiva is going to wake up it is the same jiva who wakes up why karma anu smriti shabda and vidhi these are the five hetus given we'll see what each of these hetus are in the vritti atra purva pakshe suptasya eva अपुनरावृत्ति रूप मुक्ति सिद्ध ज्ञान वैर्थ्यम सो वॉट दी पूर्व पक्षी सेंग जीवा मर्जस विथ दी वॉट एवर ही मर्जस विथ ही एंटर दी नाडी इत्यादि एंड देन ही सेज इफ ही इज मर्जिंग इन टू परमात्मा दैट्स इट इज डन अत्र पूर्व पक्षे सुप्त से पुनरावृत्ति रूप मुक्ति सिद्ध पुन अपुनरावृत्ति सॉरी अपुनरावृत्ति रूप मुक्ति सिद्ध इट इज इट इज दिस जीवा हू इज गोइंग टू स्लीप एंड अनदर जीवा इज गोइंग टू वेकअप देर फोर इन दि सुषुप्ति स्थान दिस जीवा इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैव पुनरावृत्ति अपुनरावृत्ति ही विल नॉट कम बैक वन सी गोज टू सुषुप्ति सो दि पूर्व पक्षी सी इज दट देर फोर ज्ञान वही अर्थ यू डोट नीड ज्ञान इन सुषुप्ति देर इज मुक्ति very ridiculous kind of an analysis meaning you don't need jnana etc jnana is futile because in sushupti itself one will get mukti suptasya eva apunaravrutti roopa mukti siddho because jiva who goes to sleep becomes mukta in sushupti avastha another jiva wakes up siddhante tu ajnata brahmatmana sitasya ajnana balena tasya eva utthana avashyam bhavat अज्ञान नाशाय ज्ञान सार्थक्यम फलवेद सिद्धांत इज वेरी क्लियर एज टू ज्ञान इज डेफिनेटली नीडेड देर इज पर्पस फॉर ऑफ ज्ञान ज्ञान इज मीनिंगफुल बिकॉज विदउट दैट अज्ञान नाशा वो टेक प्लेस एंड फॉर दि पर्पस ऑफ अज्ञान नाशा ज्ञान सार्थक्यम सो सिद्धांत तो अज्ञात ब्रह्मात्म स्थित अज्ञान बल दिस अज्ञात ब्रह्म अज्ञान कार्य इज ब्रह्म रिमेन अज्ञात अन्नोन सो अज्ञात ब्रह्मात्म स्थित अज्ञान बल दिस जीव हू इज अ संसारी जीव ही इज इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ ब्रह्म बट वाई इज इ संसारी बिकॉज इज इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ ब्रह्म विच इज अन्नोन इवन इफ ब्रह्म इज नोन इट इज नोन एज परोक्ष इट इज सम ब्रह्म परमात्मा समवेर आई एम नॉट दैट आई एम सेपरेट फ्रॉम ब्रह्म दैट ऐडिया इज देर सो अज्ञात ब्रह्मात्म मीन्स नॉट नोन एज वन सेल्फ अज्ञात ब्रह्मात्म स्थित अज्ञान बल वॉट हेपन ड्यू टू दिस बल ऑफ अज्ञान स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ अज्ञान विच इज कंटिन्ूइंग टू बी देर तस्व उत्थान दिस जीवा हु इज स्थित जीव से अज्ञान बल तस्व उत्थान अवश्य भाव दिस अज्ञान कंटिन्ूइंग दि देर के नॉट बी मुक्ति ज्ञान गोज वेद एन ओनली देर इज मुक्ति विच अज्ञान इज गोइंग अज्ञान कार्य और विक्षेप रूप अज्ञान अन्यथा ग्रहण रूप अज्ञान इज गोइंग इन सुषुप्ति बट अग्रहण रूप आवरण रूप अज्ञान कंटिन्यूस टू बी देर इन बीज अवस्था इन सुषुप्ति देर फोर उत्थान अवश्य तस्व जीव से उत्थान अवश्य भाव डेफिनेटली दि सेम जीवा हेज टू वेक अप फ्रॉम सुषुप्ति नॉट एनी अदर जीवा देर फोर For his ज्ञान नाशा दिस ज्ञान सार्थक्यम ज्ञान इज स्टील नीडेड 
हि हेज टू पर्स्यू वेदांत ज्ञान फल भेद से सिद्धांत त्र युप्त जीव स एव प्रतिबुद्यते उत स एव अन्यवायम संशय अनियम पूर्व पक्ष सो नाउ वॉट इज ऑप्शन स एव जीव वन हू हेज गॉन् टू स्लीप स तुप्त जीव वन हू हेज गॉन् टू स्लीप इन डीप स्लीप वन हू हेज गॉन् टू सुषुप्ति स एव प्रतिबुद्यते वन ऑप्शन इज दैट दैट जीव सेम जीव हू हेज स्लेप वेक्स अप दी नेक्स्ट डे उत स एव अन्यो वा otherwise we do not know second option is what we are not sure whether it is the same how do we know it is the same jiva somebody is going to sleep he, uh, going to sleep he does not uh, know what happened in sleep that's all we know somebody else wakes up or the same jiva wakes up we have absolutely no idea says the pura pakshi uta sa eva anyo va it is the same jiva or it can be same or it may not be same we do not know अन्य It is very clear to the Siddhanti that one who goes to sleep wakes up. Why? So many hetus are there. How can Puro Pakshi even talk such this kind of a uh, mean makes this kind of an argument just for the sake of winning an argument? What he is saying cannot be cannot be the case from any angle. So therefore, Siddhanti gives five hetus. He gives five reasons. Kota ha. कर्म अनुस्मृति कर्म अनुस्मृति शब्द विधिभ्य आई एम स्प्लिटिंग इट टू शो फाइव अनुस्मृति कैन बी स्प्लिट एज अनु एंड स्मृति पंचभ्य हेतुभ्य बिकॉज ऑफ फाइव रीजन विच आर दीज फाइव रीजन फर्स्ट इज कर्म वॉट इज दैट दिन साध्य कर्मण अर्धम कृत्वा सुप्त पुनरुत्थय अवशिष्ट अर्धम करोति सो वन इज कर्म इज वन हेतु this jiva who is going to sleep he has some karma to be done some act, some activity to be done which takes two days some some commitment he has which which takes two days whatever it be so whatever karya has to be done which takes two days he has spent the entire day it is not done it is going to be done the next day so he sleeps and wakes up and does that karya so karma which karma is doing the same karma which he was doing in on the earlier day he is continuing in on the next day so dinadvaya sadhyasya that which can be done only in two days not in one day karmana ardham krutva having done half of that activity supta this jiva has gone to deep sleep punaruthaya avashishtam ardham karoti wakes up the next day and does the second half he knows which has to be done which has been done so he does only what is remaining he does not repeat the karma so therefore one karma becomes a hetu that has is the same jiva he has planned a two day activity and he has done two day activities in between he has gone to deep sleep therefore it is the same jiva who has woken up anushabdena the next is anu anushabdena pratyabhijnya suchyate pratyabhijnya meaning this is soyam devadatta i am the same person who slept and i am waking up or it is the same ghata so all these are what pratyabhijna anu shabda anu anu paschat so anu has is an avya which has the meaning of paschat after following something in keeping with something so in keeping with the earlier experience he is the next day's experience in between he has gone to sushupti avastha therefore this jiva has to be the same what is that yo aham what is this pratyavinya yo aham atite api ahani ghatam adraksham saeva etam ghatam sprushami ityadyakara so an example is given for pratyavinya what kind of pratyavinya does he have so this jeeva say, wakes up and touches a ghata i just imagine that he has kept a pot of water he wakes up and drinks that water next day morning before going to sushupti avastha he has seen this ghata has been kept full of water so the water filled pot which he has seen before going to sleep he wakes up with the wakes up touching the same pot how does he know it is the same pot he recollects as to 
yesterday night this water was kept in this pot he has seen it and now he wakes up touches that pot and knows that it is the same pot therefore also it is the same jiva who is waking up because one who saw the pot knows that i am touching the same pot so it has to be the same entity same person that is anushabda pascha sah ghata ityadi smaranam smriti shabdena uchyate then the recollection that it is that ghata he does not have to relearn the word ghata he already knows ghata shabda he wakes up and says saiva ghata it's the same ghata which was kept here it's the same ghata one is by touch he is he knows second is that ghata shabda is known to him smriti is there ghata shabda need not be learned every day every word cannot be learned every day need not be learned every day once it is learned then ghata shabda at least basic things one recollects therefore also it has the same jiva all these hetus are not needed but these are given to show how ridiculous is the puro paksha there puna pratinyayam pratiyonya dravati buddhantayeva ityadi shruti samuha shabda shabdena uchyate shabda the shabda word there is the hetu for what shruti is there what is the shruti puna pratinyayam pratiyonya dravati buddhantayeva just like one wakes up so uh, puna not just like but one wakes up across multiple days every day one wakes up from shushupti one continues to be in the same sharira and across janmas one goes across various shariras so jiva continues across shariras whether it is across days or across janmas that has been said in the buddhanta eva in the waking state or in punar janma when one wakes up from mrityu avastha also the same jiva wakes up who has had mrityu in the earlier sharira and here oh, the same jiva wakes up which whose sharira has gone to sleep he has forgotten that in shushupti avastha says the shruti shruti samuha so such kind of shrutis are also pramana there then the last is what vidhi vidhi is the shastra pramana which derives from shruti dharma shastras they say do this karma do this upasana so karma and vidya vidya can be seen as upasana karma vidya vidhaya the vidhi is regarding karma and upasanas vidhi shabdena uchyante they are meant by vidhi shabda that also becomes a hetu the vidhi shabda vidhi is for which jiva it is the same jiva who is continuing you cannot have if one is doing sandhya vandana one day next day he continues to do sandhya vandana he knows that i am following the dharma shastra it tells me do this nitya karma nitya uh, naimittika karma shruti cannot tell one jiva to do karma and the other is going to get phala also so it is the same jiva who has to do nitya karma every day day in day out ahar ahar sandhya vandanam has to be sandhya upasita so sandhya upasita so there is a shruti like that ahar ahar sandhya upasita something similar i am paraphrasing so that shruti is there or what yavat jiva shruti is there yavat jive agnihotram juhiyat agnihotra has to be done as long as one is alive so if one is alive it has to be the same one who is alive across multiple days it cannot be the other jiva who is waking up therefore also same jiva wakes up who has gone to shushupti yadi suptasya punar na utthanam tarhi ukta hetavah badh badhye ran what would happen again the same uh, reasoning which was given in the earlier uh, sutra at the end as to what this uh, uh, the the hetu which is given would be shravanam badhyeta idam shravanam badhyeta was said now all these five hetus will also stand opposed badhyeran these hetus are very clear ukta hetava all these five hetus badhyeran when tarhi yadi suktasya punaruthanam na if the same jiva who has gone to sleep is not waking up then what will happen these five hetus will be opposed ataha sukta eva uttishtati iti siddham therefore the waker is none other than the deep sleeper this is established we'll look at more in the next part ha amna yante sam siddha mahadi madhyanta varjita maharanda gana mahapurna matma jyoti rupasmahe namaste dhanyavada namaste 
नमस्ते धन्यवाद नमस्ते